here in this uh, presentation <coughs> we are going to calculate the energy equivalence of one atomic mass unit first you should know what is atomic mass unit that is one of the smallest units with the help of this we are able to measure the mass of the protons neutrons and other subatomic particles this is very small unit when any one proton or neutron when it is smashed you will get some amount of energy that mass that one will be converted into energy now we are going to calculate how much amount of energy can be obtained by smashing one atomic mass unit that is 1 u how to start with that is a thing here first you should know what is the mass given here one atomic mass unit that is simply written as u its value in terms of kg must be known the 1 amu is equivalent to 1.66 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kg so this is the equal value of mass in terms of kg because we are using si system with the help of einstein's mass energy relation we are able to convert the mass into energy form so einstein's mass energy relation that tells that e is equal to mc square this is from einstein's mass energy relation we know the value of c the value of c is speed of light that is nothing but 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second now substitute this mass value and the speed of light you will get the answer 1.66 into 10 to the power of minus 27 that can be written within the bracket into speed of light value is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 power of square so <clears throat> both are substituted if both are multiplied and if it is calculated you will get the answer in terms of joule are you clear because both are in the si system the energy what you obtain in this step will also be in terms of si system that is in joules 14.94 into 10 to the power of minus 11 joule you will get so this is the energy equivalence of one atomic mass unit in terms of joule so first we have calculated the energy in terms of joule but in reality the energy of the energy obtained from proton and the neutron all those things should be measured in terms of electron volt that is very important we know very well that one electron volt is equal to how much 1.609 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule this is the formula that is to be used when electron volt is converted into joule but our aim is to convert joule into electron volt so what we have to do 1 joule is equal to 1 electron volt divided by how much 1. 609 into 10 to the power of minus 19 so this is the uh, method of converting joule into electron volt now we know the value of the energy in terms of joule so what we have to do this factor this value must be divided by this one so i am going to write the value in the next step e is equal to write this value 14.94 into 10 to the power of minus 11 divided by that is to be divided by which value 1.609 into 10 to the power of minus 19 after calculation you will get the answer as 931 into 10 to the power of 6 electron volt that is the answer you will obtain we know very well that 1 million million means 10 to the power of 6 1 million electron volt is equivalent to 10 to the power of 6 electron volt so this entire factor can be replaced by million electron volt so 
million electron volt is the answer. This is the answer obtained clear in terms of energy. So, if 1 AMU the mass of 1 AMU if it is smashed, if it is smashed, smashed means if it is completely destroyed that mass will be converted into which form? Energy, very important conversion. Are you clear? This formula, this conversion is very much important because in nuclear fission reaction, basically the difference in mass between the product and uh, the reactant that is converted into which one energy, wherever mass is converted into energy, this conversion is very important, especially in nuclear physics. In the case of nuclear reactor and also in the case of atom bomb, that uranium or any other fuel is used, so clear their masses they are converted into energy. To convert the mass in, in terms of energy, this is very important. This one may be asked in the objective also. The entire thing may be asked in 3 mark or in 2 mark. This is given in page number 167 in uh, chapter A, uh, 9 atomic physics and nuclear physics and specifically this is given in the pinkish shaded region. So, do not think that it does not have any significance learn them properly may be asked in the exam ok. Thank you.